Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the Polini Pocket Rules. Before we get started, I'd like to ask you to hit the subscription button and the notification bell. That way, you'll know about every one of our new videos. Okay, let's take a look. The first thing that we want to talk about with the Polini Rules is that without all of their extra features, they're great rules in themselves. Uh, both the aluminum and the steel, you have beautiful laser engravings, accurate to four thousandths of an inch over the whole length of the blade, high contrast, you've got the white on the red, or you have very deep black on the satin chrome blade. So one of our customers' favorite features of the Pliny is this stop mechanism. Now a trick that has been around as long as the combination square is to use the square to make repetitive marking. A couple of problems with this though. One, it's big. And the other is, uh, there's nothing to control the pencil, so it's really easy to fall off one edge or the other. With the Polini, there's a notch milled right into the end of the blade. Now the very compact stop fits up against the end of the board. The notch controls the tip of my pencil and I have excellent control for my parallel line. So let's see what else the stop can do for us besides set up your marking gauge. We're going to take the stop off, slip it through the cutout in the middle of the blade. Now that becomes a stand that keeps the rule perfectly vertical while we set up the height of our router bit. Now this is one of those times when I really like the red anodized aluminum rule. Uh, the white on red is really nice when I'm trying to set a critical measurement on a router bit. Introducing the M1 Caliber by Rucon Tools. The M1 is a powerful, fully integrated augmented tool that outputs the linear measurement of anything slid underneath it, eliminating the need to measure and mark materials. The large backlit screen allows you to select English or metric units and is visible in a variety of lighting conditions. A dynamic spring-loaded arm automatically adjusts to the material being slid underneath it and works with a wide range of geometries and thicknesses. The M1 clamps directly on most saw fences, automatically compensates for the blade thickness, and allows for uninterrupted continual cutting, making quick work of any material and cut bolts. Whether you're working in the shop, framing out a house, putting on the finishing touches, or anywhere in between, the M1 has you covered. Getting started is simple. Clamp the M1 to your saw fence and release the arm. Move your material under the arm towards the saw blade. Zero the measurement reading, slide the material to your desired location, and start cutting.
Jet knows a project's finish creates a first impression for the customer. That's why you don't need just any drum sander. You need a jet drum sander. Their unique pull-through conveyor design simplifies operation. The die-cast carriage gives the operator the support needed for demanding projects. The stand increases stability with its 20-inch by 37-inch footprint and also has a storage shelf for operator convenience. Jet Sand Smart Technology continuously monitors the drum motor load. It automatically maintains the highest feed rate without overloading the motor. Their industry-first, tool-free table parallelism adjustment simplifies the process of bringing the drum sander in and out of parallel quickly and accurately. A quick turn of the knob makes your adjustment so you can get back to work with minimal downtime. Jet's patented heavy-duty molded dust hood baffle is engineered to be both lightweight and durable. This industry-leading design provides a better, cleaner sanding experience. 97% of all dust is extracted. Changing abrasives is quick and easy thanks to Jet's tool-free take-up clips. Easily adjust the drum height in increments of 1 16th of an inch by rotating the top position hand wheel. Your project's finishing touches deserve the proper finish. Only Jet Drum Sanders can give you that superior finish you deserve. Our Infinity Universal Router Base Plates replace the flimsy plastic disc that comes on your router from the factory with a 3 8 inch thick clear acrylic plate specifically designed to make commonly performed routing operations easier and more accurate. All Infinity Universal Base Plates are pre-drilled for most full-sized routers and are compatible with Porter Cable style guide bushings. Available in three styles, a 7.5 inch round, a D-handle with removable guide fence, and a 12 inch square, these base plates are available individually or in a money-saving three-piece combo pack. The 7.5 inch round base plate is perfect for general purpose routing anytime you need to use a guide bushing or simply want a larger, more stable, and more durable routing platform. The D-handle base plate has a teardrop shape and built-in fence. The fence can be used to follow the edge of a straight or curved workpiece. Removing the fence allows the handle to be positioned over the surface of your workpiece for more stable edge routing with bearing guided bits. The 12 inch square base plate provides a large surface area and is perfect for use with tray making templates or slab flattening jigs. See the description below for more information a link to where to buy, and to check if the Infinity full-size router base plates are compatible with your router. Hi. This is the FC Domino Centering Solution, or DCS. If you have used the brilliant Festool Domino a lot, chances are you have experienced the depth setting of the base creeping up, especially after prolonged use. This can go unnoticed until assembly time when your joints don't match up. Very frustrating to say the least. The DCS is milled from one solid piece of high quality aluminium and gives multiple accurate size options by using the 1.5mm and 2mm plastic shims. No setting the depth, simply screw on and it will be consistently the same each and every time. 
Screw the round knob onto the same face as the engraved size you wish to domino. Then attach the DCS to the machine with the round knob facing up. In this demonstration we will be using the 18-9 setting. 18mm board with a 9mm centre. Use the machine in the upside down position. You will see the factory calibrated alignment mark through the slot in the DCS. Line that up as you would normally do and you are good to go. The FC DCS, the only accessory that will quickly and easily give you a reliable metric centering solution for five different thicknesses of board by using different combinations of the shims supplied. Reach markers, made for the hard to reach places, available in four colors red, blue, green and black. Extra fine tip, made for the hard to mark area. Can be used with reach tape measure. Can be used as a marking tool. Reach markers. Reach pencils, made for the hard to reach places. Ultra thin number two pencils, used in drill holes keyholes, detailing, electrical boxes, sharpens in a standard sharpener, suitable for use on wood, tile, concrete, and more. MiterAid from Trim Clip is an innovative new tool that makes trimming any window an easy job. To begin, mark one quarter inch reveal lines using MiterAid's built-in reveal fence. Set MiterAid against the corner of the window frame and mark the reveal lines with a pencil. Next, in order to measure the jam, install a trim nail at the intersection point of the reveal lines. With your tape measure hooked on the nail, measure the horizontal and vertical lengths of the window. Now it's time to begin the miter cuts, and you'll soon see how Miter Aid helps you accurately measure even the longest cuts of trim. Start by making a left 45 degree cut. Clip Miter Aid onto the cut edge of the trim. Hook your tape measure in the slot on the miter aid. And transfer your measurement onto the trim. Now you're ready to make a right 45 degree cut. And because you measured with miter aid, you can be confident that it will be accurate. Repeat these steps for the remaining pieces of trim. Once you have all your trim cut, you're ready to frame the window. Align the first 